everyone. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Faye. How are we all? All good. Hi, Steph. Hi, Jill. Hello, Steph. Ah, uh, we've got a few people joining us. We've um been looking forward to tonight. A little bit of time to relax and do a little bit of crafting and just chill out a bit because uh, it's been a funny old week, hasn't it? It's been a funny week. Um. I thought I'd start just while people are hopping on, there's a few more people joining us. Um, I just thought I would start by sharing this that came through the post. So we had our 12 hour crop. Um, this should say twilight, um, but we had our 12 hour crop and this little thank you card came through. So we raised 265 pounds for Breast Cancer Now charity um, and lots of people in our group affected by this so we just wanted to give a little something back so we had our little um thank you card and certificate so i posted a picture of that on the group this evening which i thought was lovely um, oh hi kim hi jill and then so debbie you wanted to share some new products didn't you yes yes been very very busy haven't we yeah so these are our new twilight stencils um there's more to come but these are the only ones kind of managed to make so far um they come in a poly pocket to keep them um protected and there's a really nice card insert to keep them straight so they're well protected um and these are some of the designs they're live on the website now this one's sunshines um, this one, I think, is called a messy wall. Love that. Um, this is called Star Rainbow, but I'm still debating changing it to Starbow because Star I like that. I love that. Just that haven't that got round to it. Next idea. Got a couple of rainbows, a couple of rainbow stencils, um, kind of messy raindrops, which is, and this one, I'm. I can't wait to use it's um a kite stencil but you can use both um I've you can stencil them, them so that you have two colors i've got um, this one here and i'm going to hold it up so people can see so it is a kite but you have both sides of the kite so you can ink that's upside down i think Faye. Oh, <laughs> try it that way <laughs> thank you deb oh, that's, it. <laughs> that's it so you ink one yeah and then you've one got color one colour one underneath on the top yeah. and then can have a colour and you'll end up with a and kite. You have a page of kites, really clever. Love that and one. This is one of my favourites. This is the circles with spots. And that's love that, this one. That's that one that I had to go at there. And I just love the little packet that they come in. Because then yeah. you put that to, to so each one comes in that and they are um, that's the one you just showed, Debbie. The the yes. one that and, and it you've made it so that it moves along, haven't you? So that it repeats, yeah, it repeats. So, so you could do just the circles, or you can do the circles and then layer on the top. Yes, clever, really well, clever. The next one I've got is um, one I used oh. for a stencil background um, for the Paige Evans one. I'll I'll put the image of the layout on the website so that you can see what you can make with it. But lots of people were interested in this one. So I've ah, made yes, that, we, that was when we did the live and we made the whole yes. rainbow. And people um, were asking for that one. So that's good that yeah. we had one designed. This is um, the wonky star in a stencil because I know lots of people like the wonky star. So I thought it's just crying out to be a stencil. Love so here that. it is. Um, this one's triangles, two different sizes, but again, they repeat. So um, there's one set of big triangles all the same, and then there's a repeating pattern, and they will fit with this so you can layer them on top um, with tiny step, tiny triangles, medium-sized triangles, but they'll all repeat as a pattern. And it's a bit like this one that you've just shown, Debbie. So that that one, the triangles, is that this one's oh, the colour wheel. And again, yeah, this one's them. coming up. Ah, that's it. So that's, and that's A4? Yes. That one A4 yeah. you've got there? Yeah. yeah. So we've got some in A5 and some in A4. 
So this one, you can make your own color wheel with three colors. So you've got the um, large triangle to do the first color and then um, the next size to do two and one triangle by itself. Love that. I'm just flashing them up on the blue card as well so that people can kind of see see the uh, the pattern. But they're on the website and there are digital images on there and we'll add examples to the website as we go. Um, this one is a circle of stars, a star wreath. So um, that one I've used as a repeating pattern. That works quite well as a scrapbook layout background. And the last one I have is one that I've used loads and I've called it bu Bubbles. This is the one I use to make the um, bubbles. Um, oh, yes, so if you anchor around the edge really lightly, you'll get really good, um, a really good bubble effect. I love that. And um, I think um, Steph's been on the website already. So we have... Oh got them all on the website i'm just going to show you really quickly so that people can see so we have um at the top of our website we've got a tab now jenny wren stencils you've still got the pre-cut and the digital cut files but then we've got these so it um a5 or a4 um and you can see um the different designs that we've got launching um just today so they've just gone live on the on the I website haven't put the wonky star on there yet that's a, on the list of jobs to do tomorrow all oh, right yes good i think um uh jules was it uh, jill jill wanted the wonky star so we'll get that one get that one up real so that's our stencils and then we have something. something else now i i do struggle with very thick things on layouts and um I really love kind of embellishments. So we've decided to uh, make our own Twilight Twiddles. So they come <laughs> I love the Twilight Twiddles. I love it. So they come in a little um, package. They're sets of um, epoxy flare. And Steph is going to love this one. This is... Um, it's, it's the Hungry Caterpillar. I love yeah. it. There are actually two sets of yes. this one. Let me find the other one to show you. You've got quite a lot of designs there. So there's two different ones. I have got quite a few. There are two different ones. Um, so, yeah, I made these and I thought of you, Steph. I love it. And my little boy loves um, Eric Carl and the Hungry Caterpillar story. So that's going to be a hit in our house. Um, this one is... Um, pastel colors um but with a little bit of glitter on so those are nice they'll go with sort of baby boy and girl layouts or anything else got some lovely pastel blues this is one of my favorites it's um oh. glitter do you know it, it's that like mermaid, looks like glitter like mermaid scales there yes. it's yeah. lovely love that so we've got some rainbows oh jill said she fancies a twiddle we thought the name was quite <laughs> Twilight Twiddles. We have to have something that rhymes with Twilight. <laughs> more get um more glittery ones. I love these rainbows because they're really bright and colourful. Love those. It's thinking about Christmas. So I've got two different sets of Christmas jumpers, which I thought love would just them. finish off um some Christmas layouts. I've got quite a few sort of generic ones. I love these. These are like watercolour bubbles nice yeah lovely these are lovely pink strawberries and rainbows and flowers another christmas one this is festive dogs with a little rain rain i um, love that i'm going to be using those with the dogs in my house this christmas oh my gosh you got another pile you've been so I've got another pile <laughs> <laughs> these are rainbow ones with little dots they're quite cute um some bright colorful um just rainbow patterns. These are kind of watercolour. They look like watercolours that have been mixed. Love those. Good for mixed media -y type layouts. And the children, these would be good for school layouts. We've got letters and stars and they're brightly coloured. I love these. These are um, wood, but in pinks and blues. Like wood yeah, love those. 
these for Halloween. Gorgeous. Yep, we've got Halloween coming up. Um, got some more wood ones. These are rainbow colours rather than the pinks and the blues. Um, splat. Splats in rainbows. rainbows. Everybody needs rainbows, don't Love they? Love a rainbow splat. Um, rainbow glitter. Nice. Um, kind of honeybee, yellows and blues. Love those. I love these. Knitted texture. They look like knitting. Oh, that's fab. So I, can, I know I'm going to be using those. Um, watercolour hearts. Oh, and I, I think the hearts are one of my favourite, actually. Um, these are kind of blues, um, Christmas, Christmas um, flair. And these are just... They're like sort of cotton, you know, that lovely cotton linen floral fabric you get. So they're yeah. kind of quite dainty and quite pretty. So, gorgeous. yes, gorgeous. and I know you can't see them very well, but there are pictures on the website so that you can see them in better detail. And I thought I'd do a quick share. They're not all on the website um, yet from what I can see. So we'll make sure we've got them all listed, but there's a good selection there. Um, I've got two missing at the end. The last two, the Boho Christmas and the um, the linen ones, aren't on there. But all the others should be. The wood ones I couldn't see, so you have to. Well, oh yes, there oh, they are. There they are. I was yeah. going to say they should be. Yeah, you've been yeah. Uh, making sure they're all, love them, love, love, love. So they're under the embellishment section, um, and there's lots of other new lovely embellishments that have all just come in this week. Lots of. Paige Evans, 49 and Market, um, Print Shop, Evergreen and Holly. Oh, it's just, I'm going to stop sharing because there's too many treats. Too many too treats. Many. <laughs> too much temptation. It's brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah, lots to choose from. So I'm going to get back on to it. So we, we've got we've got a few people um, with us online. We're going to do the spin the wheel, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to spin the wheel so because much going on. Debbie's got all the lists. So a massive list. thank you to everybody who took part in our Hello Summer Cyber Crop back in August. Um, it closed at the beginning of September and we have um, listed all the names. Debbie's got the list of names and I will spin the wheel and each name will correlate to a number. So we shall see from each. How many challenges did we have, Deb? I've got eight eight challenges right so you know we love a bit of game show on twilight so we always love to spin the wheel we need a bit of drum roll if you're at home your people at home will think you're a bit um, mad if we all start drum roll yeah i can see we've got <laughs> Seth doing a bit of a bit of a drum roll so challenge number one debbie had 10 entries yeah so we're going to tap to spin here we go is this one got fancy music? Oh, it's number 10. That is Kate Armstrong. Oh, yeah. We get a round of applause on this one. I didn't know it did a, a round of applause. Brilliant. So well done, Kate. So Debbie's making a list of winners and we will be in touch. Right, so back to how many this time? Nine for challenge two. Right. Are we ready? Challenge two. Drum roll. It's number six. That's Janina Beckett. Oh, we've got fireworks going off. So that was Janina Beckett. Yeah. Well done, Janina. Okay. So challenge number three. That is 13 people. Oh, 10. 11, 12, 13. Here we go. Back into full screen. 13 entries for challenge number three. Here we go. Number nine. <laughs> oh, we can't hear over the clapping. So, Nicola Campbell. Ah, oh, Nicola, brilliant. And I can see Janina's here with us. Brilliant. So we'll be in touch, Janina, and get your prize organised for you. Right. How many for challenge four? Twelve. Okay. So we're going to take one off there. 
Here we go. Spinning the wheel. Number two. Here comes Freeman. Who was that, Debbie? I couldn't hear over the clapping. Lorraine Freeman. Lorraine, brilliant. Well done, Lorraine. Okay, so how many for? Are we up to number five, challenge five? Yeah, challenge five is 11, people. Okay. Here we go, spinning the wheel. Who will it be? And it's going to be number two. Jackie Payne. Jackie! Well done, Jackie. And we'll post all the names on the Facebook group. So if anybody's missed the live, we'll make sure we get in touch with them. Right. How many for number six? Challenge six. Twelve. Okay. Here we go. Spin the wheel. Wheel of fortune. Number two. Jane Taylor. So that was Jane. So yeah. we will be in touch. We'll post again. We'll post the name on the Facebook group so we can get in touch with everybody. And challenge seven is it? Challenge seven next? is eight people. Eight. Okay. Here we go. So we we'll juice that down. Okay. More chance to win on this one. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, it's seven. It is seven. Antonia Sherlock. Who was that one, Debbie? Antonia Sherlock. Sherlock. I'm going to put. I also noticed that there was a number missing out of that one. So how many on the next one? Um, eleven. Eleven. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here we go. And we're spinning. So what challenge was this one, Deb? This was challenge eight. Challenge eight. So our last one is going to be and number is eleven. That is Elaine King. I couldn't hear over the clapping. Elaine King. Elaine, brilliant, fantastic. So we will post all the names up onto our Facebook group. Massive thanks to everybody who took part. So much inspiration. Um, and all the teachers who gave their time because they give their time so freely. Um, brilliant. Um, and we'll have to get thinking about the next one. So we'll be in touch with those winners to make arrangements for prizes, either Jenny Wren digital cup files or a craft bundle posted to you. Um, so thank you, everybody. Right. We think we're ready for a bit of crafting. Have we got some energy left for some crafting, Deb? I think I, I think I can get some reserves from somewhere. Let's let's get let's some. Crafting. We've got um, going back to a collection that we love because we just I just something about this rainbows that I keep going back to, which is Doodlebug and Crafty. But also, Debbie, I've got here, and this is your lovely. Let me take my mat off. This is your lovely row of pencils, isn't it? Oh, you've you've gone. I I've done nothing to mine yet. I've been doing homework. Yeah, <laughs> I've been doing homework. So this is a um, cut file that how many we've got? Two, four, six. You've got eight of these pencils. Yeah, in the cut file. And I actually kept all my inner pieces. Oh, I didn't. I kept all mine. So I have inked them in oxides to coordinate with the rainbow paper. So I'm going to see what I might do with these. I did do this in front of the TV over a week ago. And we didn't have our live last week. Um, yeah. at the mark of respect for um, losing Her Majesty. So I've had a bit of time. I've had some time on my hands. <laughs> A little bit. So, what are you going to do with yours then, Deb? Do you know? I am debating making a little bit of a grid by cutting out the pencils and using them as lines. I don't know what that would look like. 
yeah nice i've got this background paper so this is the cute and crafty range but it's rainbow lines yeah. and i love this this is called what's this one called bright ideas bright, bright ideas, ideas. Yeah, bright ideas, oh, I think. that's why I'm getting confused. They're both bright ideas, but look. Yes, yes. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Snap. I was confusing myself. Right, let's cut this edge off. I'm going to use the straight piece. I'm going to use that as my background, I think. Oh, sorry, I knocked the camera. And then I have got some of the lovely ephemera, but I was going to just start by laying out my pencils. Is anybody else crafting? What are you up to this evening? Anybody got any crafting time? I have to say, Deb, you introduced me to this tool. The straight path. It's the best thing. I didn't yeah. think it would be that useful, but it, it gets the cut files off the mat without tearing. Yeah. Best thing. Best thing ever. Well, my, mine went missing a while ago and then turned up in a stupid place. Um, but I bought another one from um, online because I just can't manage without it. Yeah, and you actually realise how much you need it. I've tried to use other tools i've got like um one of these little craft scraping things doesn't do it just not the same it's not the same, not the same. oh steph you're on pocket cards is that sort of like project life you're on some project lifey things i must do a bit more project life i haven't done any in such a long time so I thought I might build a background with these. I don't know whether to start one with these. If I cut them singly, I wonder what it would look like if they're spaced out a bit. All I can do is try it, isn't it? Definitely. Give it a whirl. And I did have... I might use all of them because I have got enough colours. going to the edge. Put these two in the centre. That's it. I'm going to do a whole roll, a whole row, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, Steph, you're on Project Life. That is good. That's the only thing you can do whilst watching something else. I often do that in front of the TV. So, I wonder, I'm going to go seven and not eight, because I quite like keeping this edge. And I'm going to put this one in the middle and work out from there. Yeah, I know what you mean, Steph. It's um, with scrapbooking, you need to be in the right frame of mind because there's a bit of thinking involved, isn't there? And like planning and working out what you're going to do. But with Project Life, it is kind of something you, yeah, if your headspace is not quite there, but you want to do something, it's a good option. I'm with you. Busy old day. So I thought I would glue these down first and then I'm going to put the inner pieces raised on a bit of foam. Oh, Nicola, you've got the captions working. Facebook does some funny things, I think. Sometimes the captions automatically appear. But then I do wonder how it translates. I know the captions cannot always translate 
I see, Deb. Nice little strips. But I'm wondering whether to space them out a bit more. So I have every other one. So it shows. And I am debating cutting up the pencils just singly and having a little border going up and down wonky. That's nice. I was thinking of cutting them up, little pencils. Yeah. I think I might do that with for some extra embellishments because they've got lovely little detail. This is, would be quite nice for a back to school layout, I thought. Yeah. A nice rainbow. I've seen lots of those first day of school photos on social media. That will be you in a while, in a year. Yeah, absolutely. The time has just gone so quickly. Yeah. I don't know where the time goes. I'm going to cut them out singly, I think, and have them as a little border. It's going to take you a while. It'll be worth it. It will be worth it. Sometimes it's worth spending that bit of extra time. Right, I've got mine glued. And then what I thought I might do is get my phone pads, because, you know, Love partial, a phone. partial to a phone pad. So I'll start pink. I'll start layering this up. Nice and easy. Just two little foam pads in the middle of each, I think. One. And then I only need one foam pad in this middle. Here. And then we'll go yellow. Should build up fairly quickly. Get speedy scrapping tonight. There we go. That's it. Orange next. So then I might have a blue in the middle, blue, okay, are you concentrating there, it's gone quiet. Sorry, yeah I am, I'm, um, <laughs> this I'm is debating, <laughs> yeah, now I'm debating sticking them on a strip or doing them in rainbow colours as a rainbow but I don't think I'll stick them on until I've done my big pencils but I can do this without having to think too much you know yeah and that's and quite enjoyable one of those kind of days quite enjoyable absolutely yeah. I think that's what Steph said it's uh oh yes yeah, Steph I have scrapbooks and back to school photos of myself and my sister and they are laughable but Oh, they're, they're lovely. You know, you <laughs> get you in the garden, stand you in front of the pot plants and make you smile. But in those days, nobody knew what the photos were going to be like. So you waited for it to be developed. So it's none of this all stand still because that was a bad photo. That's true. You got actually. what you were given. <laughs> but also I knew that they wouldn't get on posted on social media until... <laughs> My other half finds them and says, oh, happy birthday. Here's an awful picture of you when, when Bless you were little. <laughs> Funny. Funny. But I looked at, this is why these oxides are so fab, because the coverage on that is oh, that's great. that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. For the oxides. And that was my mustard seed. And it does cover well, even though it is a bit of a different yeah. um, texture to the others. It's very highly pigmented. That's what I will say. Very strong, very strong pigment. Right, that's there. So I've got one orange that I didn't use, but that's okay. And then I do have the pencil tips and I'm going to re-ink those so that the ink coordinates with oh, nice. the top. But I won't pad those i don't think they're a bit small i'm probably just going to stick those with glue 
Right, so that's that. So my pencil's done. Oh, yes. Steph, your adult back to school kits. Yes, in your poxy dress. Oh. Got a scrapbook that. I love it. Right, let's get some of this out of the way because I've got stuff everywhere. So the photo that I've got for this is of my little one when he was very tiny, but he picked up a pencil and he started to, to draw. And I'm going to hide some of the pencils, but that's okay. Because then I have got lots of these lovely bits. So I've got Remember Today. Oh, I actually quite liked some of these. The pinky. Cherish the little things. It's quite nice. It's slightly different pink. Me time. That's the wrong blue. What else did I dig out? Fab. Word fab. Hmm. Might do cherish the little things because it goes with some of these. The purpley here goes. Oh, I love that. That's lovely. Cherish the little things. Start building this up with all these bits. Love those colours you've used. I I probably would have tried to do a rainbow, but I love the palette that you've used. Is that yellow you've got Pink. twice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So I don't have a huge range of oxides yet, she says. Yet. Yet. So I need nice yet. So I needed to just use what I had. So I thought, oh, it's okay, because I can actually do a repeat and, that I, and I really lovely, though. picked the colours from this from this paper mm, right i've got a whole host of these lovely embellishments in here Let's see what i might use the little smiley pens quite cute oh is that from the doodle bug yeah so it's the same red well some of this is the Vicky vicky booten um you colour my oh, I quite like that. You colour my world is quite nice. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe more than that sort of pink. That is not. Yes. You see that purpley pink. Yeah. Save that for another layout. It'll come in. It'll come in use. They always come in use. Save that. You colour my world. Yes, yeah, Steph, I've got, I'm sure I've got eight, but I've got quite a few greens and blues. I need a red. I don't have a red and I don't have a deep blue. So there's a couple of shades that I was missing, but yeah, it will, will be on my list. Christmas is coming. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Helen. Yeah, try to pick out the colours linked to this. This, these, um, the rainbows, and I do have of this cute and crafty range. You might have this, Deb, a whole bag of scraps. Yeah, I that's what I was trying to look for like scraps that were really kind of bright because I love this lime green, but yeah. I, I don't think I found anything that directly matched. But I know I've got some somewhere. Yeah, I've also got which I could map the photo on. I've got this piece which is from the same range because i'd quite like to mat the photo in i think i'll go yellow orange and pink because that's the same as the pencils let's give that a quick mat just a quick mat um and then we can start sticking The ATG gun has been playing up. You've had trouble with yours. Some um, oh, getting high. Yeah, it's been a nightmare. Yeah. It was looping back. With the no, it's, I think it's the tape I've got. It's just not very good. I'm going to get a different one. You don't need much. That'll do me. It's very 
little sticky then. Sometimes matting it is just all you need, either in black, sometimes yeah. just mounting in, or even double mounting um, <clears throat> can work well. I love a black mat, me. Yeah. Yeah. And it's sort of, I might even try that here now we've mentioned it. I've always got by the side of me a stack of black A4 cards. You can never have too much. Four. Where is it? Is that wide enough? I've got loads of bits of scraps. There we go. Makes that pop out a bit, doesn't it? It does. It's surprising what you've got in, in your drawers here. <laughs> stuff. All important. All important stuff. Right. Just a very thin... Matt. This is taking ages, but I think it will be worth it in the end. Oh, Debbie, that's going to be cute. It will be. <laughs> so the other thing that's exciting that is coming up, but it's going to be a little while away, is the weekend retreat that we've got coming up. Yes, very exciting. So we're already we're planning, though, aren't we? Yeah, and over half the tickets sold already and it's only launched a week ago so we've got a whole weekend in bristol all day saturday and all day sunday and a long day saturday um it's a really kind of chilled bring your own kit crop yeah no pla no plans here the shop will be there and it means you get the whole weekend for 40 pounds which it keeps the cost yeah. low and, and people have got lots of stash that they want to use up. So it's just a chance to craft with friends. That is the plan. So we've got people coming to stay and we're staying over, aren't we, in the hotel close by yeah. to save our travel. And there are lots of places, aren't there, to eat just um, by the horse so people can either bring their own food or buy something to eat. Or There's takeaways. We'll have lots of cake, lots of refreshments. Oh, yes. Tea and cake. Lots of co coffee and cake for me. I'm a, I'm a coffee person, but you're a tea. You have tea sometimes, don't you? Yeah, but I always have coffee when we're out at twilight. Yeah. Yeah, we keep the coffee going. Do I want any more of these little bits? There's a little paintbrush there. Quite nice. You colour my world. Mm. That's going to go there. Oh, that's amazing, Janina. So you've got a whole weekend coming up. Oh, it's nothing like it, is there? It's fab. So nice. I quite like that. A little pack of papers. Tuck there. What that's do you do? relaxing, isn't it? It is. And what do you do for yours, Janine? Is yours just everybody crops and just chats, not classes or generally how we do ours? It seems to go well. A pair of scissors. There. It's cute. I love all these little is it the first one you've ordered, um, organised, Janina, or have you done them before? I 
I think it might be one you do in Bramford, isn't it? Yeah, in with um with a little group you have there. Uh, nothing like Bromford. it. Bromford. I want to say yes. yes. You might have to help Bramford. Oh, Bramford. <laughs> mm. Oh, my job. He's terrible. Oh, Bromford was Essex, but I'm That's not sure right. if Bromford is a different place. You are right. Right, this is nice little bits of elements. I'm going to start sticking some of this down because I'm happy with that. Yeah, you're right. I got the location completely wrong. I'm not good with the uh, location. I'm grateful for sat nav. I don't know how we ever cope before, if I'm completely honest. I'm not great with directions. No. There was that quote we did, I did on a journal page once. It was great we got sat nav, we can get lost, <laughs> more organised. Yeah. It's another way to get lost. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then you're trying to follow the sat nav and you miss a turning and you think before you know it. We've been on a road, haven't we, where we're on a dual carriage where we can't turn round and we know we've gone wrong. Yeah. But there's nothing you can do about it. No. Just have to embrace the extra journey. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to foam pad these little scissors so that they're raised a little bit. Maybe down a smidge, just there. That can go in there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's lovely, Janina. Just bring your own stuff and, and craft. Love uh, it. Switch. In Suffolk. Your yeah, best man um, lives in Ipswich. Ah. Well, it's our best man when we got married, obviously. Yeah. So, but yeah, he's in Ipswich. It's a nice place. Nice area. Right, I'm adding these little bits. I'm going to foam pad this one here. Little paintbrush. I wanted to kind of connect that with the pencils there. Um, I haven't quite got space for my paint pot now. Could play with these little elements forever. They are really lovely though, aren't they? I know there's so many to choose from. This pack from Doodlebug, I've used it loads. I'm sure there was like hundreds of pieces. I can't remember how many exactly. So I thought they were quite expensive to start with, but when you see how many bits are in there in the range, yeah, compared to very good. Good value when you compare to other um ephemera yeah. packs and how much you get in there, there's masses, yeah, absolutely masses. So it is really good, good value. All right, quite like that, I like that, and then it connects the scissors to this to the title, it's giving a bit of a flow. That title matches perfectly color wise, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the purple, I needed to bring in purple elements because there aren't purple, there isn't the purple in the pencil, so I did need to bring the purple in. That ties that there. I have got some tiny little epoxy hearts, which I thought were cute. Just to add around here. Three there, I think. Here we go. And I might put three over this side. Here in between the scissors. Lighter one. 
darker one. I'm still cutting out pencils. <laughs> you are on a roll. It will be worth it. Let's hope. Um, our best man, Janina, lives in Hadley. Hadley? Hadley. It's just outside um, Ipswich. Ipswich. Yeah. Ah, small world. Yeah. Right. So I've got that. That's coming along. I mean, you can keep adding in, you can keep adding. Oh, I am going to do my little pencil pieces, I think, because we've got a little bit of time. We aim to finish by nine, don't we? I've still got yeah. the Bake Off to watch. Have you, you still got what? Bake Off. No, I haven't watched Bake Off. No. no. I've got the Bake Off to watch. So, And they'll be married at first sight tonight. I'm behind. Are you? Yeah, I'm really oh, well. behind. I've got a few more to watch. Oh, I'm finding um, it tiresome a bit. Well, interesting. I'd say there's some very strong characters and I find them totally irritating and then they show a side to themselves and then you kind of... Yeah. Yeah, it kind of makes you realise why they're like they are. Still irritating though, but, yeah. you know, gives you a little, little bit better. of... Um, yeah, a you know, little bit more tolerance then. Not a great deal. <laughs> oh, only six miles oh, from here. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Hadley, Hadley's nice. He's been there um, since he left school. So wow. um, set up. A, he's got his own landscaping business. Wow. He was into gardening and things and. Made it his job, and yeah. And if it's a job you enjoy and something you're passionate Absolutely. about, Absolutely. Part of it, isn't it? Right, I'm going to get my tiny little pencil pieces, which are on here. And I'm going to get my inks. So I had mustard seed, carved pumpkin, cracked pistachio. Um, worn lipstick and peacock feathers and I've got my lovely little rainbow brushes which I love here but I don't want to get ink on my layout so I'm going to move that out the way because you know what I'm like I'll make oh, no. that would be a tragedy you know I'd make a right old mess of that Right, here we go. So I need two pinks. One, two. Seems really fiddly. In one lipstick. There's those two. Then I need two yellows, one, two, has anybody uh, else got any good TV they're watching, we've got Bake Off on, it's that kind of, I feel like we're going into autumn and there's good TV programmes at start, I don't know, but I, I never oh, yeah. know watching something that's kind of a thriller it's on um free v which is a free app and um i'm watching the following kevin bacon's in it very Ooh. very good, very good. Oh. you know i've got a list on my phone where i get recommendations from oh and me <laughs> people so i do i do like i don't know if it might be it might not be your thing it's it's about a serial killer. Oh, spooky. You know I'm not... Well, it's yeah. the edge of, edge of your seat stuff. Um, it's quite busy, yeah. But it's... It's, um, it's real, like, so much goes on. It, it's really good. If you like a thriller, it's really good. The following. Okay. That's a good but I one. like a bit of horror as well. So some things we watch slightly different, don't we? Oh, yeah. I couldn't... Uh, not for me. 
I'm waiting for the Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That's good. That's about as gruesome as I can manage. And that is gruesome, isn't it? But it's such a good plot. Yeah, but say it's gruesome. It's actually real life for... I know. It's, yeah, it's hard. Right. I've inked my little pencil pieces. So I'm going to move that out the way. And over comes my little layout. Now I just want to try not to get ink everywhere. And Snowpiercer, I'm not sure when that's. Oh, yeah, is that new pause then? Oh, excuse me a moment, that's my husband's phone. Oh, so someone's ringing. Right, I need my little tweezers for this. Let's get my little tweezer clip. There we go. Let's get the little pencil pieces. I definitely need in tweezers for this, Deb. Yeah. Can't I hope it. Pam YouTube don't now say that this is copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, because there was a bit of background. Yeah. I know YouTube is funny. Oh, yeah, I love it, Steph. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> I love it. The dramas. Hello? Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> There's a... A little moment, Deb's just uh, I'll mute a minute. Right, I'm going yellow and yellow. And then I need what have I got? An orange. It's definitely worth doing all these little fiddly bits. And then green and blue. And then I think I'm not far off. This has been a long time in the making, this layout, because I did the little pencils about a week ago. Fiddly, right. We are there with the pencils. So, let me see. Is there anything else that that might need? Um, I need a few little embellishments, a few bits. Let me see. Let's go back. Does it need any other little pieces? I wonder. Some of these pieces are cute if you haven't seen the doodle bugs. Nice little. Oh, thanks, Janina. I'm thinking, does it need any more? I mean, I just love these little pieces, but you can only use them on certain layouts. So this seems like a pro I did I did really like that little paint pot. That was a lovely one. But maybe it's not for this layer. An orange button is quite nice. Could use a little orange button, maybe. I don't think anything sewing themed really does it. Um, some of these are more um, like craft tools. Pen? No. Oh, there's a pink button. That might be quite nice. A couple of buttons might do it to add some extra. Hundreds. Of, oh, there's loads of buttons here. Pinks. There's a bluey one. So I've got some of these mixed. I don't know how others store their ephemera, but I've got kind of themed boxes in these little rainbows, and then I can take them to crops oh that little pencil sharpener that's quite nice pencil sharpener might do it right let's see 
we might add a couple more definitely love that pencil sharpener i think he can go there on a little foam pad i'll put my foam pads away so let's get a bit of foamy here that's it is he in the right place oh he's stuck now i can't move it so he's got to stay he's got to stay right i might put a cluster of a few buttons around here so i've got these so i don't need all of these particularly but i do like some of these blue might be nice under there Another bit of detail yep glue this one in here and Debbie calls this a little clusterage the clusterage of buttons works quite nicely. Um, maybe just two there, I reckon. Under the scissors, one and two. Just overlapping like that. Let me hold that up there. If I do that, then you can see. Look, you can see the mess of my see the mess of my desk now. <laughs> Push this out to the side. What a mess. What do we think? Oh yes, Nuvos. Oh, coming out this way. Yes, what a great idea, Steph. I don't know if I've quite got enough um, colours, but that is a really good idea because you could see how like that. So if I haven't got the right colours now, I'm going to have to buy some. So I've got the blue. Um, let me see. Oh, good. All right. All right, they do yeah. come in more colours, Faye. Yeah, do they come in those? Do they come in all those colours? Yes, they have hundreds of colours. So, but I think I'm going to need to purchase more Nuvos because I've got a pink. Steph had a lovely idea of wiggles. I've got a yellow. That one is dandelion yellow, so that would work. But I would need. I don't have an orange. We've got an orange on the Twilight Shop. So an orange. And I would need a green. So I think I might I might have to purchase to add some squiggles. Great idea. Loving a new bow. So I think I'm dead on nine o'clock. You've still got lots of lovely little pencils to cut. That is going to be brilliant. I have. Yes. And I have got that one in the pencil so I'll finish layer again oh love it i love it i'll take, we'll take some pictures and we'll um and we'll also make sure we upload pictures to go with the stencils because i know we we're talking about the jenny wren stencils at the start of the live so we will get those at the website so thank you for joining us everyone and um, joining us for the spin the wheel and the launch of the new products and um, we'll see you all again next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.